Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to explore something called the average occupation number. So again, we're going to lean on our previous experiment where we had four coins, we tossed them, and there's 16 different possible outcomes, therefore there's 16 microstates. There's a total of five microstates. So the average number of heads in all the micros and all the microstates, how do we actually calculate that? Well, here's the general equation. N sub j, now j represents the two different kind of energy levels or energy states. So let's say that one represents heads, two represents tails, so one represents the number of heads. So n sub j can in this case be n sub 1 as we have notated here. So the average, the line on top means average, the average number of entities or quantities, in this case coins, that will have heads. How do we calculate it? Well, we sum up summation from k equals 1 to 5. Now k represents of course the number of macrostates. k number of macrostates, there's five of them. So we're going to sum up all the five macrostates and in each macrostate we're going to sum up the number of heads, coins that are heads in those macrostates. So we multiply the number of coins that have heads times the probability, the statistical probability, or with, in this case which is called the thermodynamic probability that that will happen, and divide that by all the various outcomes, so we simply sum up all the thermodynamic probabilities, which is the same thing as summing up or getting all of the outcomes of all the microstates. So what we do here is we multiply the number of coins that have heads in each microstate times the probability that that microstate will occur, divided by the total number of outcomes, which can also be written like this, because remember that the probability can be written as the total number of outcomes, or the, I should say, the, the probability for each microstate is equal to the number of outcomes of that microstate divided by the total number of outcomes of all the microstates. So, it makes a lot of sense now if we put some numbers in there because I guess in this case this can still be kind of confusing. So this is what it looks like when we put numbers in there. So we're going to calculate the average number of heads in the various macrostates. We're going to take 1 over 16 because 1 over 16 represents 1 over the total number of microstates, the total number of outcomes. That's right here. And then we're going to num multiply the number of coins with heads in each macrostate. So 4 in the first microstate, 3 in the second microstate, 2 in the third, 1 in the fourth, and 0 in the fifth microstate. And then the second number is simply the, the number of outcomes for each of those microstates, the thermodynamic probability. So there's only one outcome that has four heads. There's four different outcomes that have three heads, six that have two heads, four that have one head, and one that has zero heads. If I now go to the calculation, I end up with 4 plus 12 plus 12 plus 4 divided by 16, or 32 divided by 16, or 2, which means the average number of entities with heads in each of the four or each of the five microstates is two coins with heads. And that is how we find the average occupation number.